Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. It's 2009. The day is here. It's such a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. It's wonderful out. It's really pretty. I loved waking up. Every year I wake up and watch the Thanksgiving parade. And frankly, this year America's had a pretty rough year. And I wasn't even sure they were going to do the Thanksgiving parade. And it was really, really wonderful to see all the kids and all the people that were out there. It was a beautiful parade. I don't know if you guys watch it from around the world, but it was pretty neat. I thought it was really great. But anyway, it's a good day. We have a lot of stuff to be thankful for. I mean, there is so much stuff happening right now. I think most of you know it, but if you're watching this and you haven't seen it, Senator Xenophon from you know, Australia has been speaking out about the crimes within the Church of Scientology. Aaron Saxton is on YouTube with some fantastic videos. The Aaron is so succinct in what he says. He, he brings it together so well. I can't thank you enough, Aaron. I mean, honestly, I've been sending your videos to tons of people, even people that haven't done anything, you know, within the critic movement for years, but they left years ago. They helped start kind of the critic movement. And I wanted to make sure they had heard your videos because... And all of them are like, wow, this is fantastic. So for many, many people, I want to thank all of you. because, And, and certainly from me. I mean, people have helped me from all walks of life for nine years. I mean, I've been out nine years, almost, well, probably nine and a half years. And I left in July of 2000. I escaped out. They chased me across the country, right? And when I left... There were four people that would talk to me. Bob Minton, Stacy Brooks, Jesse Prince, Mark Bunker. Pretty much most of the rest of the internet, including the critics, now there were a few people that were okay on it, but most people turned against me, some people viciously against me because they were positive I was a horrible person that, they, that nobody should talk to. Now, part of that was my fault. I wasn't working with OSA. People think that, but I wasn't at that time. I was in my dining room, and I had kind of figured out, these guys know something. I don't know, <laughs> which is kind of funny now, because it was sort of like, they know something, right, that I don't know. That's That was in my mind. They, they know something that I don't know. And if you knew how many people I talked to that have left the Church of Scientology because of one of you being out there picketing or having fun, or, you know, my supervisor leaving because he saw I was wearing red horns. And he was like, why is Tori wearing red horns? You know, it's like it really makes a difference what you're doing. It really does. And I hear it from people all the time. Aaron, that is a common thing they do. You probably know it, where they call people liars. I've been called a liar for nine years. And uh, they, they do sucker even people in that are critics to go in with their, their thing. And... You know, it's just one of those things. My, my, my deal is just keep saying what you know is true because it's so valuable. It doesn't matter what they say. And to anybody in who's staying in because you think, ooh, look what happened to Aaron, you know, or look what happened to this person or that person, you know, where they're calling them this, it's like it's nothing. You know, normal people go, come on. You know, you listen to Aaron's story and you listen to their little, oh, he's a liar, oh, he's a this. It's like, nah, I don't think so. It's not really a problem. And plus, all of us have our own stuff, okay? What, good or bad, all of us. So it doesn't matter what they say. That was one big realization for me because I was a security checker, which means you're supposed to be helping people get off their withholds or their secrets. And at the time, I thought I was like one of the worst people on the planet. I know it's funny to you guys, but I did think that. And then I started security checking people. Many people, executives at FLAG, really nice looking people that seemed like they couldn't hurt a fly. And I was amazed person by person, everybody has their own shit. <laughs> so if you're sitting there in the Church of Scientology thinking, oh no, I can't leave, they'll say blah about me, come on out. The weather is fine. We're having a fantastic time. And truly and honestly, I just, on this day of Thanksgiving, want to give thanks to each and every single person who has helped me. You probably don't even know that you've helped me, but people from all walks of life, all areas, some people just for one communication walked into my life and changed my life, truly. 
And I won't tell you how because I know Osa listens to all this. But some people have truthfully and honestly, I saw him once and it changed my life forever in a certain way. And uh, for every one of you, I want to thank you. You know, the people that are on my YouTube site, I'm so happy you come and make your comments and, you know, communicate with each other. And you have all helped other people come out. So more and more people are coming out, and this is a really good thing. So happy Thanksgiving to each one of you. I love you all, and uh, may you have a delicious, a full, and a healthy day. All right? Peace. All right, talk to you soon.